So we should be using, like we did uh, just a decade ago, our soap was glycerin with like other stuff added, small amounts of certain essential oils or wa flower water essences. You know, you can put that into your own soap with like shea butter, lanolin, uh, mango butter, mango cocoa butter. butter. Or, yeah, etc., etc. A little bit of hemp oil, whatever you use personally. Um, and then some people, they add like, I don't know why they do it, like corn syrup. I mean, it's better outside your body. Never put it inside your body. Never swallow that corn syrup. Yeah, it's explosive enough to be an additive to gasoline. Yeah, like, um, come on, like ginger glycerides with a little bit of Hawaiian ginger scent, you know. Man, that Hawaiian ginger, that'll keep you clean. Coconuts, uh, you know, that's why everybody doesn't like it as much, is rougher than ginger. Yeah. And I'm sure there's other... Uh, glycerides. Glycerides you can get from, like... I mean, there are some other healthy ground roots, maybe. It's, yeah, maybe, like, pomegranate, maybe. Would that yeah. work? They'd probably get some glycerides out of that. Yeah, that's not pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, my point here is... Saponified, because that was the word of the day that Eamon just suddenly got in his email, yeah. is suddenly what's happening, and I don't trust that process because we have glycerin. Why would you want saponified soap when you could get glycerin that yeah, is the before the saponification? Because the saponification is maybe makes us sudsy, but it's already going through a chemical alteration process that weakens its cleaning power significantly. And that's... Not it just good. makes it abrasive rather than cleaning. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 